In this technology training quick tip, we're going to talk about using a formula in Excel to change the case of text. In a program like Word, you can usually highlight the text that you would like to change the case of and make modifications in the font area. You'll see that there's not an area to change case here, nor if I click on this little button, the dialog box launcher, you'll notice that there isn't a place here either to change the case. This is because in Excel, you're going to need to use a formula to do this. So you'll notice that my record label area here, the information in column D, is all caps. In order to adjust this, I can use a simple case formula. Right now everything's in uppercase, and I decided that I wanted to make it lowercase. So I can click here in column F. I'm going to start my calculation with an equal sign, and I just happen to know that the formula for that is lower. You'll see as I start to type lower, um, that becomes a suggestion here. And I'm just going to hit tab to accept that suggestion, and then simply click in the area that I would like to change to all lowercase. I'm going to close my parentheses here and hit enter, and you'll see that that has turned it into lowercase. I'm going to go back and click on my selection here in cell F2, double click on the fill handle to copy that formula down through the rest of the data set. I'm just going to also take a moment to type in lowercase here to remind me what I have done in this column. In general though, with language such as a label like this, you really want to capitalize each new word in the text string. There is a special formula for that called proper to change either uppercase or lowercase into proper case. Proper case being defined here as having a capital letter at the beginning of each word and lowercase for the subsequent letters of each word. I'm going to click in column G to show you this. Before we just typed an equal sign and started to write out the lower formula for that. I do want to show you that if you go to the formulas tab on your ribbon, there is a function library here towards the left of that ribbon area, and there is a drop down here for the text function library. You might observe here that lower is one of the choices in that list. There's also a choice for proper. I'm going to click on that, and it simply is just asking me for the text that I want to change into proper case. I'm going to click in cell D2 and simply hit OK, and you'll see that that gets replaced. In order to copy that formula down, I'll double click on the fill handle and you'll notice that it very quickly goes through and changes that case for me. Now, in order to make this a more permanent change, instead of there being a formula listed here, I might choose to copy the values of this formula. I'm going to highlight column G. I'll right-click and copy that. And then in column H, I'll right-click over that, and notice that I have several paste options. The second one for me, with just the numbers 1, 2, 3, is the values choice. I'm going to click on that, and see now when I click in cell H2, I see A and M up in the formula bar, where if I click in column G in that same row 2, I see the formula for proper. So I've basically had the opportunity to change the case here. I'm going to get rid of these two columns by simply highlighting them and then right-clicking over that selection, choosing delete, and I now have a proper case version of my record labels. I'll double-click on the right edge of F, and I'll probably take the opportunity to cut and paste that data back in column D and rename it back to its original heading. Thank you for watching this technology training quick tip. For more information, 
please visit our website.